If you're considering going on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you're gonna to wanna to stop and watch this video first because in this video, we've got 15 tips that you need to know before going on your next cruise with the Royal Caribbean. Let's get into it. What's up, YouTube? Trevi from the Adventure Buddies, the modern travel family, bringing you another video filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration to make sure you maximize your next family adventure like we always do here at the Adventure Buddies. Tip number one, download the app beforehand. So go to the app store and download the Royal Caribbean app, upload all your itinerary information, and you can start planning well before the cruise takes off. Tip number two, pay attention to dynamic pricing. So before your final payment, you have the opportunity to readjust your cruise. If the price between when you bought it to the price that it is now is lower, you can actually rebook for that lower cost. So make sure you pay attention before making your final payment. Speaking of pre-cruise trips, tip number three, make sure that you pre-book as many things as possible. So that's gonna give you the best opportunity to save money. So we're gonna talk about specialty dining, getting some Wi-Fi packages, getting excursions, et cetera. So oftentimes they're gonna be cheaper off the ship than once you get on the ship. So pre-book your excursions and everything else ahead of time. Tip number four is check in immediately. So check in begins 120 days prior to your sailing date. So check in as soon as possible and instantly start to book the shows, get your reservations for stuff, et cetera, because they're gonna go quick. So for instance, we were two days late and we missed out on a lot of the primetime show times as well as dinner reservation times. Don't make that mistake. Tip number five, Royal Caribbean has a large number of fleets, the largest of any cruise line. So just know that not every cruise ship in the cruise line is equal. So each ship is gonna have different amenities, but while there may be similar, there are some uniqueness in there. So the new ones are gonna be bigger and have more of the bells and whistles. So just know that when booking. And so if you're looking to score a better deal, try considering booking one of the older ships. If you're interested in a video on more deals and how you can score these for your next cruise, click the link above here for that particular video. Tip number six, continuing on with how to save money is be on alert for Black Friday sales. So just like anything around Black Friday, cruises go on sale. So that's either the actual cruise booking itself or individual packages and offerings within that cruise. So if you've already booked your cruise, you can probably get discounts on spa treatments or discounts on excursions, et cetera, just by paying attention to those Black Friday deals. Continuing on with spa services, a bonus tip here inside of this one, spa packages are actually cheaper when you are at port than when you're at the sea. So if you are looking to spend a little less money but get some relaxation time, book your spa treatment at port. Tip number seven, and this goes for any cruise line, but we're talking about Royal Caribbean specifically, is that we urge you to arrive one day early. So don't bother with all the stress of trying to fly in the day that you're going to embark on the ship, because if things happen, that ship is actually going to leave without you. So don't get stressful and just book your trip one day ahead of time to fly in, to get settled before going and embarking on your journey. Tip number eight, and this one is super crucial, many people make this mistake, is that when you do embark and go on the actual ship, if you didn't pack your bathing suit in your carry-on luggage that is with you, you're not gonna be able to hit the pools until you get to your stateroom, and that's oftentimes not gonna be till well after 1 p.m. And so if you bring your bathing suit with you, you're gonna be able to hit the pools with no lines and be able to go down the slides, et cetera, and just have a great time before the crowds start to set in. Tip number nine, inside that Royal Caribbean app, visit the daily plan planner early and often. So this daily plan is gonna give you all the activities, all the show times, et cetera, that are gonna happen on that particular day. This is gonna be a great tool set for you to plan out your day and make sure that you're not missing anything on that large ship. And so when I say those ships are large, they are huge and there are a ton to do at every aspect of every hour of every day. So make sure you use that daily planner inside the app. Tip number 11, if you are into booking up mileage points, consider booking your cruise with your airline. So for instance, American Airlines is going to allow you to book your cruise through them. That's gonna be able to transfer a bunch of points over to you to get free miles. Plus, if you have an American Airlines credit card, using that credit card on the ship is actually going to get you more mileage. So this is an easy way to continue to rack up those mileage points so you can travel more. Tip number 13, and this is one that we just stumbled upon, is book your cruise with a a travel agent. There are a ton of reasons and one of that is that a travel agent is actually free so pass that stress and complexity off to them but two they can most of the time get you free stuff or even a cheaper booking that you can see online. So if you want a full video on why you should book your next cruise with a travel agent 
click the link above here. Tip number 13, if you do have teens, we urge you to put them in the teen club and really encourage them to do that on day one. So day one is super important because this is the time when everyone on that ship or in that teen club is actually new and a little bit awkward. So this is when they're actually gonna start to form friendships. And so yes, they can go on day two, three, four, et cetera, but oftentimes they're gonna start forming their own friend groups and cliques and they may not come back to the teen club on day two, three, or four. So your best opportunity for your kids to start building some new friendships on that ship is starting out there on day one. Tip number 14 is when your cruise is actually starting to come to an end, make sure you check your bill the morning before your last day. So not the day that you're actually getting off the ship, but the morning beforehand. So you're gonna make sure that you avoid any long lines at guest services to make sure that your bill is absolutely correct. And if it's not, you can handle any of those discrepancies without having to wait in a long line. When you get to the day that you actually have to depart, you're gonna be stuck with long lines at guest services where everyone's gonna be fighting, complaining about why their bill is saying such and such and such. So avoid the headache, avoid the stress, avoid the lines by doing that a day earlier. And then finally, the last tip, tip number 15, while you are leaving the ship, we encourage you if all possible and you have a less amount of luggage, try to do a self checkout. So being able to take your bags off by yourself versus having to give it to the cruise line ship is going to allow you to get off the ship quicker. So if you do have a flight to catch, this is gonna be your best opportunity to do that. Otherwise, you're gonna get a specific time in which you can deboard that actual cruise line. So if you have a place to be, consider carrying off your own luggage and doing self checkout. So there you guys have it, 15 tips that we feel are gonna help you on your next Royal Caribbean cruise. And if we miss one of those tips, comment down below. And while you're at it, please consider giving us this big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button for more travel tips and adventures. And most importantly, remember, life's an adventure. Who are you going on it with?